maybe you want to take a trip this spring break to see our national treasure, the Grand Canyon. This year is pretty special as well. Today is the 100th birthday of the Grand Canyon becoming a national park. Our John Treewaller takes us there and takes us to a look in the hidden gem that he found. Well, yeah, when people think of the Grand Canyon, they think of this view here behind me along the South Rim. It's a view people come from around the world to see. Some spend a few hours here at the Grand Canyon, some a few days, but some people they call the Grand Canyon home. Just a short distance from the iconic South Rim of the Grand Canyon, you'll find a building likely you've never seen before and probably didn't even know existed. This is the Grand Canyon School. Oh, the reader said it again. Home to over 250 students with an average annual graduating senior class of about 15 to 20, all children of park staff and nearby communities, and the only K through 12 school inside a national park. First thought it was really big because you know, it's a national park. I was like, oh my God, there's a bunch of people, but you get here and it's really small. What about avocado? Small for these students because the Grand Canyon is home. This is where they've spent all or most of their childhood. Some don't even know what it's like to see the canyon for the first time. To them, it's always been a part of their life. I always used to think it's normal to have like this much space to grow and run. Growing up in a national park, but helping the park grow at the same time. We have learned the importance of preservation of the environment and of national parks. And a lot of people we know, they're rangers, and so they've helped like enforce that with us. And of course, many are surprised when they say they go to school at the Grand Canyon. They tend to be really confused. They're like, oh, like, the Grand Canyon, Grand Canyon, and it's like, yes, <laughs> the Grand Canyon, Grand Canyon. But if you ask them, they wouldn't have it any other way. Not every day, like, if you're a tourist, you can see this, so you know, I'm pretty grateful that I can just walk a couple feet from my house and just go and see it. Now, in case you're wondering, they are called the Phantoms because they are named after the community at the bottom of the canyon called Phantom Ranch. Reporting from the South Rim of the Grand Canyon, I'm John Treeweiler, ABC 15, Arizona. Yeah, that certainly would be a conversation starter throughout life. Yeah. About your school. That's pretty so cool. cool.